Whoa, what's jam? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy New Orleans Lil, and this is gonna be a review on the Have and Have Nots season two finale. So y'all ready for this shit? Are y'all ready for this shit? Are y'all ready for this shit? Let's go. By the way, this was a crazy ass episode and a lot of shit happened. So I'm going to try to tell y'all everything that happened. But I might skip a few parts just so that the video will be at a nice little length that you wouldn't feel like you're watching the whole episode. Okay, let's go. So, the scene opens up with Amanda, girl, and Amanda is having another bad dream about the professor again, bitch. So, Amanda jumps up and gets out the bed, and she's out the door. Then, the scene changes to Hannah in jail or whatever. So, Detective Byron going to ask her, is there anyone else that she could think about calling? And she was like, no, there's no one else I can call. The only person that I want to talk to is gone. Like, what the fuck is, like, what am I going to do? Then she reveals that she done told the local police that why you did it. Girl. So he panics, bitch. He look at her like, bitch, are you serious? You done told the real police this shit? Because y'all know this is Detective Vira who Jim hired to fuck with Hannah. Yeah. I been told y'all that, girl. If y'all watch my reviews from... The first episode all the way to now, I told y'all exactly how this shit was going to unfold. So check out the other reviews and leave y'all comments down below. So now we're at this little event for Jim or whatever. Y'all know he running for governor and all this. So Catherine pulls him in the office and tells him what Jeffrey told her about Amanda being crazy and Amanda wanting a gun to kill them or whatever. So, Jim, like, are you serious? Like, really, right now, all this shit got to be going on right now? Really? In the middle of all this shit I got going on? He was like, I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to take care of Amanda. I'm going to take care of Wyatt. I'm going to take care of this whole little Hannah situation. I'm going to take care of everything. So, now Jeffrey walks in to the event, and he don't have a date, bitch. He walks in by himself. So, then the, he spoke to the little white lady, Maggie. Then he speak to his mom and dad and stuff. And Maggie like, wait, where your girlfriend at? Oh, I thought she was bringing a date. And Jeffrey was like, oh, well, so-and-so just didn't work out. You know, he was referencing that little book that his mama gave him or whatever. And then Veronica was like, no, my son's a jokester. And I don't think I like it. But then David was like, well, I'm just glad that you're here, son. Okay. I fucks with David, bitch. I fucks with David 100%. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing like a father who could love his son 100% for who they are. You know what I'm saying? That's like a real powerful character that David is playing. Like, for real. So then, next thing you know, bitch, Landon walks up out of nowhere, girl. So then, Meg is like, you know, introducing him to the Harringtons. And bitch, he, she leaned over to introduce him to Jeffrey. And before she could even finish the sentence, he was like, Jeffrey. And Jeffrey was like, Jeffrey was looking like, bitch, you do not know me right now. Bitch, you don't know me right now. Bitch, you do not know me right now. So Veronica said, oh, you know my son. And Jeffrey was like, no, I don't think we've met before. So then, you know, Landon catch on or whatever. So then Maggie sends Landon to get some drinks or whatever. And then she like, you know what? Won't you introduce Wyatt to a few girls? So then Jeffrey walks off and she pulls Landon back like, stop flirting with him. And bitch Veronica right there catching all the tea, bitch. All the tea. They cannot pull it on Veronica, bitch. Veronica caught that tea, baby. Trust me, she caught that tea. So, girl, now we back to Hannah, and she's still in jail or whatever. So, then Tony and his lawyer walk in and was like, tell us where Benny is. And she like, what is y'all talking about? What y'all mean where Benny at? And she was like, when I got to the hospital, Benny was gone or whatever. So, they not believing her or whatever. So, then Tony's lawyer tries to scare her and was like, your ass is going to rot up in here. And then they, they walked out, child. So, bitch, now we back to Landon and Jeffrey. So, they off to the left or whatever, getting some drinks or whatever. 
And Landon like, so that's your mother. That's the type of person I despise and I'm going to be working for her? Oh my God. So then Jeffrey was like, man, don't judge my mama about this situation. You know, still helping up for his mama because fuck, that's his mama. So he like, don't judge her by, you know, this situation. And Landon was like, you are her son. If she could do it to you, fuck, she could fuck over anybody. So then child Landon looked back, girl. And Veronica is looking at him catching all the teeth. Landon grabbed this girl who was right there by him or whatever, Whitefish. Landon grabbed Whitefish and pushed for Whitefish over to um Jeffrey. And then, you know, him and Whitefish started talking, child. A mess, girl. So then, girl, Miss Candace walks in, bitch. And Candace walks in like, oh, okay, look at you, Jim, running for office and things. You know what I'm saying? And then Veronica was like, bitch, I'm about to whip this bitch. Then Catherine was like, no, I got it. Then Candace was like, no, let me. Then she pointed to Maggie and was like, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Then it turned back to Catherine and was like, damn, you really got your work cut out for you, huh? I'm like, girl, Catherine gonna sneak that hole. So then Catherine like, okay, now that we established that you can count. And Candace was like, oh no. I can still count some more. Bitch, what about 100,000? What about 1 million? What about 12 million? Talking about Amanda on um, money, child. They want to sue and get that girl money. So Catherine was like, you don't have no business here. Can we talk in private? So Candace was like, yeah, but Jim should join us or whatever. So they tried to leave it. Then the girl Maggie was like, oh, I'm coming. And Jim was like, no, this is a private matter. And Maggie was like, no, it ain't no private matter. I'm coming too. So all of them walk in the office, bitch. And David and Veronica standing on the side. So she tapped on David and was like, come, come. Y'all come on too. Like, come on, bitch. Y'all in the mix too. David was like, did she just? And Veronica was like, I'm about to stump this bitch. So, child, now they in gym office or whatever. So, Candace says, now, Jim, I asked you to help me with my brother. You said no. Now my brother is dead. Catherine, like, what? She like, yeah, my brother is dead now. And Catherine, like, does Hannah know about this? And Candace, like, yeah, that's her son. So, she was like, you know you could have helped me. You know you could have helped me. So then Maggie bust out and was like, well, why are you telling us this? What do you want or whatever? So Candace was like, you know what? I'm thinking about moving. I'm ready to get out of here. This place is smothering me. You know? I'm thinking about going to Atlanta, getting me a high-rise condo off the 40th floor. <laughs> What a nursery close by. Catherine was like, why are you telling us all this? And Candace was like, because you going to pay for it. You know what? I was thinking the other day, why did I only get a nice car and a hundred grand when y'all have millions of dollars? Millions of dollars. You know what I'm saying? So the high rise apartment that I want is going to be about a million dollars. And I want a million dollars in cash. And that shit is going to look so good. Candace Young, attorney at law, millionaire. Okay? Bitch, that shit will be cute, Candace, girl. It's crazy. Candace evil, but bitch, I love Candace, bitch. I love Candace. Like, I really do love Candace, bitch. Uh, me and her on first name basis, bitch. I be calling her Tika on the show. <laughs> okay, bitch. I love that old girl. I want to meet her for real, bitch, and just chill with her. Maybe I could meet her on the set, Tyler Perry, if you just cast me or whatever. Well, no, you ain't got to just cast me. Invite me to an audition. I don't want you to just give it to me. Let me work for it. I'll come audition for you. Veronica like, okay, little girl, do you know that this is extortion? Do you know that these are two judges and they could put warrants out for your ass right now? And then that whole Maggie chimes in and was like, yeah, you really might want to think about this. 
And then, bitch, you know, Candace pulled, you know, Candace always got to have a one up on them hoes. So Candace was like, oh, can me and my baby daddy talk about this? We need a moment alone. Bitch, yeah! Slayed the hoes. Bitch, Catherine, like, Catherine about to catch a heart attack, bitch. So Catherine just runs out or whatever. Then Veronica runs out behind Catherine. And then we have David and Maggie. So then he asked them two to leave or whatever. So then they leave or whatever. Then, bitch, he all over Candace. Kissing Candace and doing all this to Candace and caressing Candace. Candace was like, why didn't you help my brother, Jim? And Jim was like, you know what, Candace? I'm so sorry about that. Because you know... Candace, I mean, Jim know that that's Candace's brother. Candace don't know that Wyatt Rant is the one who did this, though. So, she like, why you didn't help my brother? He was like, you know what? I'm so sorry for that, and I do want to make it up to you. So, all this shit that you asking for, I'm going to do it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But let me get back to work. I need to get back to work, and I'm going to, um, you know, meet me at the park tonight at 9 o'clock at Benson Park. And she like, why, why the poke? And bitch, I knew right then and there, bitch. I'm like, that was just a, bitch, I knew right then and there. That was a setup, bitch. This whole done exposed that you got her pregnant. Bitch got Catherine all hostile and shit, bitch. And bitch, she said this shit in front of Maggie too. Bitch, I knew you was furious, bitch. So you played that little game, you know, kissed her all on her neck and shit. Made her think you was for real, bitch. Now you want her to meet you in the park 9 o'clock at night, girl. No, ma'am, Candace. Don't do it, bitch. Don't fall for that shit, bitch. Bitch, don't fall for that shit. So then, girl, Candace leaves out or whatever. And as she's leaving, bitch, she sees Jeffrey talking to a girl. And Candace was like, really, Jeffrey? A girl? Are oh, you fucking serious? Stop. Um, she passed up Landon too, and Landon was like, hey, Candace. And she was like, hey, <laughs> girl, the wolves is crazy, bitch. So then David comes back in the door. And David, like, so what we gonna do now, Jim? So Jim was like, you know what? I done already handled it. You know what I'm saying? All I need you to do is make a call to the Malones. It's on tonight, Benson Park, 9 o'clock, done. Over. I'm looking like, girl, didn't I tell this bitch Candace they was going to set her up weeks ago, bitch? Girl, I can't believe this shit. So then, girl, in the midst of that, bitch, Detective Byron walks in the door and was like, Hannah has told the local police. Bitch, Jim like, what? He like, yeah, she told the local police. Jim just storms out. So Hannah on a payphone in jail, and she calls Catherine, and Catherine answered the phone like, hello, and she like, yeah, this, um, Hannah, have you moved any? And Catherine was like, yes, I had him moved. I could not, he, I couldn't stand to see that boy there, and I, if you want to sue me, that is fine. And she was like, no, Hannah, Hannah is like overwhelmed on the phone, and it's like, just thank you, thank you. So then Catherine was like, come on, I'm going to take you to see him or whatever. Where you at? Let me pick you up. And she was, Hannah was like, oh, you can't pick me up. And Catherine was like, look, girl, I'm not for all that shit out you today, no. Where you at so I can pick you up? And Hannah was like, I'm in jail. Catherine was like, bitch, what you doing in jail, bitch? So then Hannah was like, child, it is a long story. Catherine was like, well, who put you in jail? And then Hannah told him the judge's name. And Catherine was like, child, I know that old dirty snake. I'm about to call him right now. I'm on my way to come get you. And Hannah was like, all right. Bitch, so now we're back to Amanda, girl. And now Amanda is on a bike trail, walking on a bike trail in a park or whatever. So next thing you know, the professor runs up to her, girl. She done found the man in the park jogging, bitch. So he, walk, he runs up to her and he noticed that it's her because she got a hat on and shit. And he like, are you fucking serious? Like, what is wrong with you? Like, what do you want? And he like, you know what? I'm sorry for what happened or whatever. She was like, I had another nightmare. He was like, 
you're gonna have plenty more nightmares. You keep fucking with me, you don't leave me alone. And she was like, I had another nightmare. And he was like, I could get you somebody to talk to about this shit. You could go to counseling about this shit. She was like, no. He was like, well, I got money. Do you want money? She was like, you can't pay for what you did. You can't buy the girl fucking virginity back. So then she was like, so then he was like, well, what you want? Then she was like, I want blood. And he was like, what? You fucking crazy. What you mean? She was like, I want blood. I want you to bleed. And I want you to feel all the pain that I felt. And he was like, you're fucking nuts. So he tries to turn around and walk off. Bitch, Amanda stabbed that bitch in his back, girl. Okay. Bitch clutching the pearls. Clutching them. Bitch, no, ma'am. Amanda really done lost <laughs> Amanda, I told you to torture him, but girl, I didn't think you was going to stab the man up, bitch. I have really taught you well. I am so proud. I feel like a proud mother right now. They're more crazy, but see, that's why you can't fuck with people and you can't do people no anything, baby. Girl, Amanda jumped the piss out that man. He was like, because she stabbed him right about here in his back, bitch. He was like, this bitch stabbed me. Bitch, you stabbed me. And he kind of like fumbling and kind of trying to run away. Girl, I was too fucking out done when Amanda stabbed that man up like that. Amanda jumped the piss out that man. <laughs> Girl, I live, Amanda. So now the scene changes to Jim busting through the door looking for Wyatt. And he like, Wyatt, Wyatt, Wyatt. So Wyatt runs from out the back like, yeah, dad. He like, look, come here, son. Look, now listen, you're about to go to jail. And Wyatt like, what? Did the Harringtons turn the car in? And Jim like, what the fuck you talking about? So then Wyatt tells him, that, cat, that Veronica found the call and that you to know what happened with the whole Jeffrey situation or whatever. So he was like, look, I handle all this. But for right now, you're about to go to jail. Don't talk to nobody in jail. I'm going to get you out of this, son. So then the police knock on the door and Jim acting all surprised and shit like he ain't know nothing about it. Bitch, Jim can act his ass off. And I'm not talking about the actual man who was acting like Jim. I'm talking about the character Jim. Jim, the character, can act his ass off, bitch. Because he acting all surprised and shit. Then they like, we got a warrant for your son for a hit and run. And Jim like, a hit and run? Yeah, right. Let me see this warrant. So Jim reading it or whatever. And then you got the police, you know, Wyatt at the door too. So you got the police passing Jim up. In the background and cuffing Wyatt. And let me interject right quick. Hi. Mr. Perry. If you're in there watching this. I just want to let you know. You could have let me be one of them responding officers. I just did some work recently. Like. Real recently. Like. Friday and Saturday. So. I just did some work on the show recently. And I was a responding officer to a situation. So, you know, cash your boy or send me an invite, you know, to an audition or whatever. Shout out to all of y'all. If y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all seen it that morning while I was on the set or whatever. But shout out to everybody who, you know, just be sending me like encouraging words and, you know, that keeps me to strive and continue to do this. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to shout y'all out and thank y'all for all y'all kind words and believing in a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because I believe this is really what I was put here to do, to entertain. You know what I'm saying? It's natural. So now back to our regularly scheduled program.
So, girl, yeah, the police cuffs him and takes him away. I'm like, girl. So, now Catherine at the jail or whatever to get Hannah out. So, Hannah is asking all kind of fucking questions that's not even relevant. So, Catherine tells her that, you know, all the paperwork is being processed and everything. So, then Catherine phone rings. So, Catherine looks at the phone and was like, oh, look, it's your future grandchild's daddy. And Hannah looking like, what the fuck? What's going on? So then Catherine answers the phone and Jim tells her to meet him at the jail or whatever that Wyatt has been arrested. So Catherine was like, I'm already here. So then Hannah was like, what happened? Is everything okay? And she was like, the police have picked up Wyatt. Hannah, what did you do? Like, this cannot happen at a more perfect time, right? Right when she is about to get fucking Hannah out of jail, Jim calls and tells her that Wyatt is going to jail. So now we're stuck with, is Hannah going to still get out of jail or what? Is they still going to take care of Benny now that Wyatt done went to jail? Now that Hannah done read it? Girl, this shit is all over the place. Girl, I was hoping that things was going to kind of go how they was going. And why he was just going to get out of jail. But with all this shit happening now, I don't know what's going to fucking happen. Because at the end of the day, is is like now Jim knows about the car situation. That's going to be some evidence. You know what I'm saying? Then we have Hannah and Catherine. They friendship about to be fucked up for good now. Girl, it's just like crazy. This finale was all over the place, y'all. All over the place. Now we got our final scene, child. This is going to be the end, girl. And I hope they don't take too long to bring the ham nice back. Please do not make us wait a whole nother year. I'm just saying, like, I'm sitting on the edge of this sofa right now. I'm going to be done fell off by the time a whole year come. You got to come right back. I got to know what's going on. Bitch, you got to give me all the tea. So I could spill the tea to my uh subscribers and shit, you know? Alright, let's get into this last scene, child. So now, the scene changes to Jim dressed in a punk, sitting on a bitch with all black on. Waiting for Candace. So then Candace arrives or whatever. And was like, what's up, Jim? What's going on? You ain't forget that checkbook at home, huh? But what we going to do this little rendezvous boy? Where you want to do this shit at? You know? And Jim was like, Look, this is what I need you to do. I need you to stop fucking with me. I need you to leave my campaign alone. I need you to leave my daughter alone. And I need you to tell her that she needs to move back home. And that you're moving out of town. I'm not going to do all that extra shit for you. And, you know, I just need to know, are you willing to, are you going to comply with this shit? Like, what's up? You willing to do what I'm asking you to do right now? So then Candace was like, I remember how Veronica said that you had trouble counting the four, talking about the inches of his dick child. She was like, well, I don't know what she was doing because I got way more than four. And bitch, this might be a little bit too graphic now. But I'm saying though, bitch, different people can have different effects on your on the size. You know what I'm saying? Like, a dude might only get semi-hard for a certain chick, but then another chick just get him all the way hard. And when that bitch all the way hard, love. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> where is the boys, okay? So then Candace was like, man, look, just give Amanda some money and let her go to school and she'll be happy. And Jim was like, do you think I'm fucking stupid so you could take all the fucking money? Candace was like, I wasn't going to take it all. Only about a third. About a third of it. Yeah, I was going to get a third out there. Huh? So Jim was like, look, Candace, fuck all this bullshit. 
Are you going to comply with this or what? You still haven't gave me an answer. So Candace was like, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. No. So, Jim, so then Jim was like, well, it was intriguing why it lasted. But now you have officially become my enemy. And he's sitting like this. So he flags somebody over. You know what I'm saying? So he flags somebody over to fucking come, bitch. So why his arm is around Candace, bitch? So why this, these two men, bitch, I don't know if it was two or three, but bitch, I know I seen two for sure. So two white men. So bitch, why two white men dressed in black, bitch, come from behind, bitch? Why Jim is holding Candace in his arms, bitch? He locks up. He locks up and holds her like tight. And then the man from behind comes and smother Candace, girl, and now they got Candace smothered. And Candace is like kicking and trying to fight. And then Jim got her grabbed. And then the man got the thing. And then he pushing her closer and closer. And then she fighting and screaming. And then she trying to get out of all this shit. Girl. And then she stopped moving, bitch. Then Candace stopped moving. She just stopped moving, girl. So then the men fucking pick Candace up and brings her to this white van, throws her in the van, and pulls off. Jim still was sitting on a bitch like that with his legs crossed and all that, looking like Kumo D or some fucking body. Then Jim walk, gets up and walks off towards the camera. Girl! So that is what happened on the season finale of the Have and Have Not Season 2. What a cliffhanger we have. We don't know shit about nothing, really. We don't know what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Is why you going to get out of jail? Is Hannah going to get out of jail? Is Candace going to die, bitch? Is Veronica going to actually get over Jeffrey being gay? Is Catherine and Hannah going to remain friends? It's so many cliffhangers, we just don't know what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? I enjoy reviewing season two for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Tyler Perry. Season two was everything. Thank y'all for tuning in for these 10 episodes, you know. When they come back, I will be back with more reviews of the have and the have nots. So till season three, make sure y'all subscribe up top. Leave your comment down below. But first... Hey, diddle, diddle, got little in the middle. Hey, hey, diddle, diddle, got little in the hey, 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 diddle, diddle, got little in the middle. Want the host to subscribe and comment just a little. Hey, hey, diddle, diddle, got little in the middle. Want the host to subscribe and comment just a little. Now leave your fucking comment. Work your fucking comment. Write your fucking comment. Mix your fucking comment. Now leave your fucking comment. Work your fucking comment. Write your fucking comment. Mix your fucking comment. Leave your comment. Work your comment. Write your comment. Mix your comment. Leave your comment. Work your comment. Write your comment. Mix your comment. Leave your comment. Work your comment. Write your comment. Mix your comment. Mix mama. Mix mix mama. Mix mix. Mix mama. Mix mix mama. Mix mix. Mix mama. Mix mix mama. Mix mix. It's your boy, New Orleans Lil. Sale season three.